Hello, Haruna here. Uh, thanks for joining. In this video, what we're going to look at is the configuration of network file system, uh, NFS. So this is basically used for when you're trying to share files across the network in rather than making use of flash drives or some sort of storage device or hard drives, if you like, um, to move files, you're able to have access to files across the network. And this comes in handy for file sharing uh, purposes. So what we've got here, uh, three servers. So these are VMs basically that are running currently on, on my um, uh, laptop. So what we have is uh, I'm using UTM uh, for this, that's the hypervisor. If you need any help with uh, certain this up, you can just uh, drop a message in terms of uh, just uh, drop a comment. I would uh, try and see if I can put something together for you. But basically, yes, UTM is what I'm using for this. So I've got a bunch of VMs, but for now, I'm only running the ones we need for this. So what's the first step? Uh, we need to make sure NFS is installed or running on the... Uh, system we are using. So let's start with uh, NFS01, which is the server. NFS01 is our server, essentially. What uh, Ideally, we should have NFS running on this server. Um, the IP is 192.168.64.7. If config should show us that. Um, yes, that's the, uh, that's the IP. So let's see if we if we are on this server, we should be able to check uh, system CTO, the status of NFS uh, server, for instance, if at all we have NFS um, server installed. Uh, let's system CTO. Okay, we don't have NFS installed on this server at the moment. So the package is NFS util. So we can do DNF install NFS NFS utils. This should install uh, NFS utils for us. And uh, the OS I'm using just so let's see, cut let's see, uh, OS release, just so you can see it's Rocky Linux. So Rocky Linux nine, uh, essentially. So you can use YOM or DNF for that. So it means we have, uh, NFS now installed. We can do system CTL status NFS, NFS server. So you can see it is installed, but not, uh, enabled so we can enable that system CTL. Uh, we can start NFS server and then enable it system CTL. We can enable NFS server. Now we should be able to see the status system CTL. Yep, status NFS server. Preset is uh, preset says uh, disabled. It is enabled anyway. So let's see. Uh, on this server, so we have that. Then on the uh, clients as well. Uh, we should. I'll just try installing uh, DNF install NFS uh, utils. DNF install NFS utils. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, that's on server A, then DNF install, NFS utils on server B. Okay, that's done, uh, system CTL, enable, uh, let's start NFS and enable, let's start it, system CTL, start NFS. NFS server, 
and do the same to enable NFS NFS server. Okay, that's fine on server B, then system CTL, let's start NFS, NFS server. And as well, uh, enable NFS, NFS server. So that's, that's done. Uh, let's see if we have, okay. Enable, uh, we, we, so we have NFS running just now, um, on, on all the systems, uh, on, on this network. So now what we need to do is to, uh, create the repository, the, um, so the directory that we're going to share, uh, over the network. So that's, uh, essentially the export, what we're going to export. So, uh, Let's just make that directory just now. MTTIR. Uh, we call we can call that um collaboration because yeah, just as just keep it simple. Uh, collaboration MTTIR collaboration. So if I ls collaboration, it's somewhere. It's there, right? So where am I now? Just uh, ls on this. Uh, but if we ls here, then we should have collaboration. Yes, the directory is there. That's fine. Then uh, next thing is to uh, export because we've created this directory. Uh, now it needs to be exported just so clients can use it. So and the file that we're going to modify to do that is the uh, ex um, export fs. So export fs file let's modify this file let's see export 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 xtx exports not um export fs let's see exports yeah so uh we need to modify this file to say we are uh i insert yeah insert mode we we are saying we want to export the collaboration directory uh, to the network 192.168.16.4.0 uh, slash 24. So anyone that is on this network will be able to get um, have access to this file, uh, read, read, write, <coughs> read, write mode and uh, sync. So basically um, we are saying export this uh, directory over the network. Anyone that is part of this network should be able to have access, read, write access. Uh, there are other options for um, exporting directories, a lot, a long list actually, but uh, we're just trying to keep it simple here to demonstrate how this works. So um, right quit and let's leave. If you cut Etsy exports just now, you should have, yes, it's there. So now that we have this directory uh, created, exported as well, um, and uh, uh, added to Etsy exports. Um, what we need to do is to apply the NF uh, the, the the config so we can use export x uh, export um fs the the command for that dash a. You can do man uh, manual pages for export uh, export fs to see uh, all the options. So now um. Already we have started NFS, so we but just to be sure, system CTL uh, start um, NFS server. Yeah, so let's just check system CTL status NFS NFS um, server. So if it's an enabled, so um now on the client side. Um, sometimes uh, firewalls are sort of um, blocking this uh, NFS service. So we need to just check to be sure that we've got uh, NFS service allowed on a firewall. So it just um, firewall CMD, right? So we want to list all. So just list all. So you can see the services we've got, uh, cockpit, DHCP, client, SSH. So I don't see NFS there. We can add NFS to this. So we can say um, firewall, um, firewall CMD, right? Um, I want to list 
um, no, no, no. I want to add a service and the service name is NFS. This should, yes, success. Now uh, we can reload firewall CMD, um, reload, firewall CMD reload. That was successful. Then now we should be able to list or um, list list all uh let's see if nfs is there no services um okay that was added uh nfs the the system the server isn't uh, nfs isn't showing us one of the services uh let's see should it should show up but um since we've successfully added let's 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 proceed and give this a try and see if uh, it will allow uh, client the clients to mount this uh, nfs share and uh, uh, get access to the files uh, also we should have created let me create a file at least just one file in this uh, directory col collaboration directory that we're exporting so we are creating Let's call this um, file1.txt. Uh, actually, we can just put something into file1. Hello, NFS server, uh, something. So we are saying, um, I'm trying to put a file at least just so it's not an empty directory. Um, yeah so if you cut this directory this file if you cut this file you should see what we've added uh, recently we can verify our mounts using um export fs v so you can see that this um collaboration is uh, directory is been exported to this network uh, these are the options. Some were added um, uh, automatically, basically. Uh, but read write is the main one we are after. Read write, then sync. That's what we added, uh, essentially. So now we can just go on the client. So this is the server. For now, we are done. So on the client, let's start with. Let's do server A. Basically, it's going to be the same thing with server B. But uh, if we can. If I can show you this on the first server, then uh, it's 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 essentially the same thing. So uh, what do we have? System CTL, do we have NFS running, NFS server? Yes, we do. Okay. If we do, then um, yeah, quit this. We need to create the mount point. So the directory, collaboration will be mounted somewhere on this server. So you can define, it can be anywhere, but uh, we can use uh, MNT, MNT slash MNT, and we can call this NFS001, maybe NFS001 collab or something. Yes, that's 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 fine. So that's our mount point on this server. Now we should be able to mount the directory collaboration from the server on on um, server A from the NFS server on server A. Uh, so we can just use the mount command for that. So mount, uh, what are we trying to mount? We're trying to mount a network file system. So you can do dash T NFS if it's, uh, that's, that's optional if you want to specify uh, the type, if you want to be explicit, but you can just go straight to the IP address 192.168.64. Dot, the IP address of the server is 64.1. That's the NFS server. So where is the NFS, the, the, the directory collaboration is the directory we are collabor uh, collaboration is directory on the server. Where do we want to mount it? On the local file system, we have created um, a directory, which is NFS001, which is collab. So if you, if I hit enter now, it's trying to mount. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, what's going on, what's going on? It's trying to mount this. 
it shouldn't take this long, so it means something is wrong somewhere. Yeah, something is definitely wrong. One nine one six uh, collaboration. Uh, uh, let's see, what did I miss? Okay, it's 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 talk. Uh, let's let's see, let's see, let's see. Why? Why is it? Why is it stuck? Um, let's see. Okay. I let's see. Let's see. Should I? Okay, we can cancel this. NFS is running here. Firewall on the clients as well. Let's see. Firewall CMD uh, list all. Uh, okay. Uh, let's let's add. Uh, let's add um mm, firewall firewall cmd right um firewall cmd add service so let's add nfs as a service service equals nfs okay then we can reload this uh, reload yes uh let's see cmd's um let's the list okay so should let's 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 retry this now so i'm trying to mount or did i miss anything i want to mount um uh, well dash t as the type nfs and yeah it doesn't make any difference there's a problem somewhere if this isn't mounting on the server there's a problem wait oh, just be sure i i i know i should be able to get to the server but uh let me just verify uh so i'm on server a am i able to at least ping one yeah i should i should be able to and then twenty six eight dot sixty four dot seven, yeah, of course. Um. Okay. So, let's see. The problem is probably with the, uh, with the server. Uh, let's let's. I'm trying to see. It should be on the server. What what did I miss with uh, export FS yes dash a and as well NFS server okay we load um, the firewall it's mount dash on oh mount dash a let me see if, uh, let's see if we want to mount this directory no there's something there's something there's something hmm. interesting so mnt nfs 001 collab that's directory so it isn't mount mounting i think i have a strong feeling that this a firewall thing this is definitely a well not definitely it could be it could be something else but um let's trace our steps back let's see um mount is fine export fs is fine does it have something to system ctl status nfs server Preset disabled, but active, it's active. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's see system CTL, uh, start NFS, NFS um, server. Yes, that's fine. Let's do the same here. System CTL, restart. NFS, NFS server. Okay, that's fine. Now, can we mount? 
No. Interesting. So if this isn't mounting, then mm, let me see. Firewall CMD. Uh, firewall CMD. Can I? Yes, reload this and um, let's do this again and see what happens. Uh, mount one into one sixty four. Yes, yes, sixty four. Mm. Collaboration. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll try and see if I can. Um, at least sort this. So, okay, let's see. So let's check the firewall config again, uh, just so we're sure. On server A, let's see, uh, okay. Firewall CMD list, list all. NFS isn't there, so um, I may have missed this. So let's see, let's see, let's add um, firewall, firewall CMD. We want to permanently add the rule, permanent, yes, permanent, right? So I want to add a service and the name of that service is NFS. After doing that, I want to reload the service. Yes, um, let's see. Reload, then now I want to list again. See if I will CMD uh, list all. NFS is there. It's, it shows NFS as one of the services that are allowed. That's on the client. So on the server as well, uh, Okay, export FS. This just to see to show what's uh, what has been done. Uh, but uh, NFS, what has been exported? So firewall on the server. Firewall. Firewall CMD. List all. Uh, we've got NFS. So now, since we've exported directory, let's try and mount. Where's the command? Uh, let's see. Let's we can recall that. Yes. Oh, fine, that's done. So um, the issue was with uh, the firewall. Um, I should have added the permanent uh, keyword to it when when uh, adding NFS to make sure that it's one of the allowed services. Uh, anyways, now we've got the directory um, mounted. We can do uh, DFH, so disk free H. So we're, we're trying to see what drives. So these are the drives that this client is seeing as local drives, right? And then this is one of the, this is, this is seeing this as a um, network drive. So this is what's exported and it's mounted here. So I have available, we can make use of this 37 gigs of storage just as if. Uh, it's on the client uh, machine on this machine. So, and it's more to get access to this storage, we go to this uh, uh, location. So we can just CD into uh, MNT, for example, NFS and one LS, you see the file is there, but we're on the client. So we can cut this file, the file that we created. So we can cut, it says, hello. Uh, let's try actually making a file uh, here. Let's create a file. So let's touch um, or a shot. Let's echo uh, hello from the client, right? And put it in a file called uh, client.txt. Uh, okay, I should have allowed uh, uh, this on server but that's that's fine anyways that's fine but the main thing is for us to be able to access this file from uh the client here so uh we have an fs client one which is server a 
been able to get access to this file that's been mounted um, locally here. It's been exported over the network. Server B should be able to do the same thing. Uh, basically have uh, the uh, directory exported on over the network and then being able to mount it uh, as a local file system after creating a mount point, just the same way we did with uh, NFS001 collab directory here. So that's uh, essentially it. I'll do another video, which will be uh, a second part of this, just so we can see how to handle uh, permissions, file permissions um, over NFS uh, more, uh, you know, um, elaborately. So just so we're able to, you know, read, write across and also add files and permissions of users and uh, stuff. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching this. And uh, if you've got any question, please uh, do drop the some comments uh, in the comment section and uh, if you are trying to set up a lab a test lab like this a test environment and you've got uh, m2 uh, macbook pro you can make use of utm that's free but then you can pay for parallels uh, if you want but uh, utm works just fine for arm based um, machines you can see all the machines i'm using are arm and based machines, but I've got a rail line, just any OS you, you can think of, you can you can have that uh, on this server, on, on, on your M2 MacBook Pro. So um, I would like to thank you once again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and uh, I will see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.